In his famous commencement speech at Stanford University in 2005, Steve Jobs talked about connecting the dots and the importance of being aware of the fact that we are all mortal. What we actually what he actually wanted to say with that was that we have to find a real sense in what we do as entrepreneurs. And uh, in this respect, he postulated quite some principles uh, that entrepreneurs and leaders should follow. So I invite you to have a look at this video until the end so uh, that uh, you will learn more about these three principles and my comments on them. My name is Armin L. Rao, founder of A. Leonard Rao, the Entrepreneur's Entrepreneur, and I'd like to help you to become a great leader. I've been a coach since 20 years and an entrepreneur, and today's lesson is about leadership. If you don't want to miss any tips, tricks, methods, tools for entrepreneurs to improve their leadership skills, please subscribe to my channel by just clicking the button underneath this video. Steve Jobs principle number one, believe in a great vision. A common vision can unite people and don't make the mistake of thinking that your vision has to be everybody else's vision in the company. You're the boss after all, you're the founder and everybody who buys into your vision is uh, welcome, so to speak, um, everybody who doesn't um, has has the freedom to disagree um, and can then decide if uh, uh, this if he wants to well if he wants to follow anyway or if he wants to leave when Steve Jobs talked about the effect of a strong vision he certainly didn't mean uh, visions of getting rich selling more or dominating um, the world or something um, he, he really thought that you know uh, a great vision should have more than just quantitative parts and I can't agree more. Steve Jobs principle number two, do something that really matters. So what he means here is ask yourself uh, for, you know, the, the, the higher good of the company. What is the purpose? Why does it exist? Why does your company make a difference? Why do you make a difference? Apart from uh, quantitative objectives, do you, for example, save lives or improve the trade rules worldwide, introduce, or well not introduce, but you know, comply with the rules of fair trade, um, do higher things, serve a common good. Uh, that is very important to uh, have the feeling and, uh, and, and, and the, the opinion that you're actually doing something that is greater uh, than, than, than just you know, something quantitative. And principle number three, also one of uh, Steve Jobs' principles is believe what you say. Believe what you say. So if you say, I will change the way people are moving from A to B that is completely environment friendly, then believe it, you know, uh, be authentic. If you believe it, you are authentic and authenticity create, is, is attractive, creates a follower, follow us, people who want to go this way with you. And that somehow closes the circle. Uh, on one hand, you're looking for a, uh, you have a strong vision, you believe in making a difference, and yeah, you believe that. So these three points that Steve Jobs, amongst many others, uh, mentioned as very important to be a successful leader and a successful entrepreneur are the ones that I wanted to share with you today. Vision, purpose and belief are important principles of great leaders. Life coaching will enable you to become a great leader and learn from the greatest leaders worldwide within weeks. So this means for you that you, um, that you and your company will be more successful and your sleepless nights will be reduced to a minimum. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and if you would like to have, learn more on vision, just click on one of the videos in the end card and there are some more on vision. That's it for today. Thank you very much. That was Armin Rao uh, from Elan Rao, the Entrepreneur's Entrepreneur. And don't forget, lead yourself.